Both Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year are right around the corner. If you are someone who doesn't really do gifts like me, then you can go ahead and skip this video unless you want to learn how to say Happy Valentine's Day and Happy Chinese New Year in Chinese Mandarin. If you are planning on giving gifts to your Chinese friends or girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, this video might be a little bit helpful for you. Today we are going to talk about 5 gifts that you should not give to your Chinese friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, etc. The first one we have is clock. To give someone clock as a gift is called sung zhong. Sung means to give someone, to gift someone. So now zhong is clock. So sung zhong, if we're going by the sound only, first it could mean giving a clock as a gift for someone. Second, it means saying farewell to someone, you know, that person is passing away. So that's why you don't want to give someone a clock as a gift. The second gift you do not give is a green hat. Green hat means your significant other is being unfaithful to you. So that's not something that you want to give as a gift to someone else. Unless, of course, you want the person's significant other to cheat on, cheat with you or something. I want to be clear that I moved to the US when I was 12. So basically, I had a Chinese education of a fifth grader and pretty much got stuck right there. So the clock and the green heart are two things that I know for sure. They are taboo, or at least for people, they still believe in that kind of expressions and traditions. The next three things that I'm going to talk about are three of the most common items mentioned on different websites about gifts that you should not give to Chinese people. Again, I'm not sure about those three, and you probably don't want to ask anything that's very, very Chinese culture related because I'm not the person to ask. As much as I want to inform you, my Chinese culture background is kind of low. So the next three things that I'm going to explain will be explained in a language perspective. So we'll be looking at the characters. The third item is shoes. Now, shoes in Chinese is xie. Another character with the same sound and character is evil. So something really, really bad, bad spirit. So you are sending bad spirit to that person. If you dislike that person, then that's a whole different story. Next, we have peers. Peers in Chinese is li. And the homophone character for it is li, standing for li kai, departing, breaking up. And the last one we have is umbrella. Umbrella in Chinese is san. And the homophone for it is san, as in san kai, again, break up or departing, just ending something, ending relationship. This sound is one of those characters that actually has two pronunciations. Ambuala, the sound for Ambuala has the third tone. Now the sound, the homophone, this character that has third tone, it's actually more related to sound fa, like putting your hair down and stuff like that. This character with the second tone, it's actually the one that means break up or ending a relationship. So that is all for the five items that you probably should not give to your Chinese friend. Two of them, I'm sure. Three of them, good luck. Even though this is a list of common items that you should not give to your Chinese friends, it really depends on whether the receiver really believes in that kind of tradition, that kind of thoughts. If they don't care, then it doesn't matter. Give whatever they want. Happy Valentine's Day is 情人节快乐. 情人节快乐. To say Happy New Year it is 新年快乐. 新年快乐. I do have a video on New Year, except it was for the American New Year rather than Chinese New Year. But if you're interested in checking that out, you can go ahead and click on the link on the screen or you can check the link in the description. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! In this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between Chinese Mandarin, Guizhonese, and Cantonese. If you are interested in just a